be the last from us, but our on-the-spot correspondents, Nick and Camilla, have a special review of World War Z. Let's check it out. Hi, I'm Camilla. And I'm Nick. Today we're going to be taking a look at the 2013 movie World War Z, starring Brad Pitt. It's adapted from a book of the same name by uh, Max Brooks. Uh, this movie follows Brad Pitt and his family as they go through the beginnings of a zombie apocalypse. And Brad Pitt is a special military guy. Yeah. Is that like a that. specific role? He, all I know is that he works for the UN. He works for the UN, and he, he's just the only guy that can help to find a cure. Yeah. So, Camilla, what did you think of this movie? Just like... Very basic plotline. Yes. I feel like we've seen this before. Mm. Um, but it's pretty iconic for Brad Pitt to be leading an action movie. Yes. I think that's really cool of him to do. It's really iconic. He does a great job in this, I think, with, with what he's given. I, I wouldn't say anything in the movie is too... I, I wasn't wowed like by his acting or anything, but he did a good job. Yeah, I agree. Know? I think a lot of, like... I, a lot of the scenes kind of seem predictable with him because I feel I've seen I've, I feel like I've seen a lot of Brad Pitt action movies. Yeah. So I feel like a lot of like his moves are already predictable. So yeah, you know you know his like grimace that he's got. Yeah, his iconic grimace <laughs> and then his smile. And, right. You know I I don't know about you at the start of the movie I could like I I felt like I could tell what was gonna happen. I'm like because they're like oh we're in the kitchen yeah. we're making pancakes yeah. we're having a great time. And then that oh, was zombie apocalypse. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. I was thinking the same thing when we um, when we were introduced to the family that Tommy is from. Oh, sure, yeah. Because uh, it was like, oh, like they're they're being really sweet to everyone. They're like making a plan and stuff, and then the dad and the mom got infected, and then it's just Tommy. Yeah. yeah. Um. The I I remember the one one of the things that really stuck with the movie from stuck with me from the movie was that scene where his family got infected because like they were banging on the yeah. door to come in but then it switched to brad pitt yeah. banging the door open mm -hmm. that was really cool to me yeah i think what i like i think my favorite special effect from the movie though is at the beginning when i forgot the younger daughter's name but she had a doll and it counted to 12 that and was it was cool. counting down and at the same time it was counting down the seconds of when somebody would be infected yeah i thought that was really cool and that's how like brad pitt yeah figures that's out. how he figures it out and then it doesn't like tell it to you directly, mm -hmm. but you figure it out when he, you know, he thinks he gets infected and he's like, oh, should I jump off this yeah. building? He's counting a thousand ten, a thousand eleven. That that was a cool bit of detail. But now, I one thing I wanted to talk about is what puts, dare I say, the world war in World War Z. Yeah. Because I feel like you think of typical zombie media, right? It's more like a band of people. They're on the run. They're mm -hmm. just going from place to place. But this almost does feel like a intersection with a war yeah. movie. Um, what do you think? I think it only feels like that because we do see a lot of the other countries. Yes. Um, like they go to Jerusalem. Mm. It happens in, Jeru in Jerusalem. They go to other places. Um, but I, I think that's the reason why it felt like that. Because usually in other zombie movies, it's just like some random place in the u.s it's just like abandoned there's like two or three people walking down the street right. like scavenging for food but this felt different because we were actually going to those other countries and experiencing what they were experiencing right you usually in these movies you would follow kind of what the first act or first half of the first act of what this movie was where it's just a family going from right. grocery store to grocery store or whatever looking for places to stay but it felt like you were kind of I almost say had a bird's eye view of the situation because you, you you were following this guy who was like contracted by the government, and that's like like you're you're seeing what's like the most important things in the world as the zombie outbreak happens, right. and I, I don't know did this feel like almost realistic to you because yeah, of that I was thinking like watching like watching it through. It's, I don't think people realize, like, this is something that can actually happen. Mm. And, like, 2013, like, that was a while ago. So it was way before, like, the pandemic had even oh, hit. Sure, but, yeah. like, I was looking at, like, um, like the infection maps that they had in the movie. Mm. And it looks so similar to, like, the maps um, that the government shared when COVID hit. Mm. Like, they look so similar. And I saw so many parallels between um, between the two. So it's, like, it's scary to think about it. Like, it's, it's, it's realistic. It is. I, one of the things that I found really realistic and comparable to COVID was 
that opening for the beginning of the movie, the first maybe three minutes, mm-hmm. they they just played back to back news broadcasts yeah. where it sh- slowly showed the situation unfolding, mm-hmm. and it was there were people like news talking heads being like, "Oh no, it's fine. The situation's fine," trying to downplay it. Mm-hmm. Um, but then, of course, you know we see. 20 minutes into the movie right. the cities are falling everything's going into lockdown yeah. you know <laughs> like, yeah it's, it's, it's just I'm, I'm saying there's just a couple similarities there it, it it's very scary mm. it's very scary thinking about it because i like that's all i could think about throughout the entire movie yeah because everybody was like running and like fighting to isolate themselves even when they were like looting the store mm. i was thinking of how people would like hoard toilet paper at the uh, beginning of the <laughs> and i was so Good confused times. yeah it's it's scary speaking of scary i guess the zombies or as some of the military people call it in the movie the zeeks mm-hmm. in this movie were nominated or voted yeah. voted as some of the som- the scariest zombies because of how fast they can yeah. like run what yeah. do you think of that it, I, that that's like the I definitely think it's like the scariest aspect of the movie because when you think of zombies you think of like really slow walkers you can easily get to them and easily like I don't know like hit them with a bat or something but these guys are running at you like full speed mm. and you don't have a lot of time to think you kind of just have to act All right, and without having a lot of time to think what do you think you would give as a score <laughs> for World War Z go go six six uh, I'd also go six conformity all right, on that <laughs> note, we are going to throw it back to the studio.